Heavy Metal Mohawk here for MetalNationRadio.com. Tonight we rock, and right now my guest is uh, joined by Mr. Alex Martel, president of co- and co-founder of Amnesia Rockfest. How's it going, Alex? Nice to have you on. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Okay, so um, this is going to be the ninth year you're having Amnesia Rockfest, and um, so, well, let, let, um, let the fans know some of the, uh, the big headliners you got in store for us this summer. The list is long. We've got uh, Blink-182, Motley Crue, Weezer, Alice in Chains, Megadeth, Billy Talent, No FX, Danzig, Primus, Five Finger Death Punch, You Need to Remember, Mastodon. Uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, well, about a hun- over 150 bands, uh, as always. Uh, so, and this year, I know that you're having um, a special stage for the metal bands. Uh, yeah, well, that. you know, uh, last year we actually added two new stages. That we're focusing more on like uh, punk and hardcore, and you know, with lots of cult bands and bands that haven't played Canada in like 20 plus years. And I wanted to do something similar for metal, so this year we're adding this new stage. It's not 100% metal, but it's mainly focusing on metal. And you know, I think we've got a really good lineup on there. Uh, we've got Danzig, uh, Mastodon, Meshuga. Uh, who else? Cannibal Corpse, Cradle of Field, Venom, uh, the list goes on and on and on. So I'm really happy about that new stage. Well, I've been hearing that the ticket sales have, the ticket sales have been going like wild, uh, you know, they're, they're flying. Uh, yeah. So how, how many um, people do you expect uh, this year? We expect around 200,000, and last year we had 160, so yeah, we're, we're like over 90% sold out this year so well, you know if you don't have your tickets then you know you, you better, better act fast <laughs> yeah of course if you want tickets and more info uh, amnesiarockfest.com now with uh, that many people expected um, what are uh, some of the uh, I guess plans you have to accommodate you know this many people I know the camping uh, it, the setup seems a little different this year when I looked online yeah well uh, our, in the past we used to have a bunch of different uh, campgrounds and parking lots like in the nearby cities, uh, but like the, the small towns around Montebello. Uh, but that created like a huge, crazy need for shuttles. So this year we tried eliminating all of these campgrounds and uh, we actually found like a huge, huge field in Montebello that's like maybe five minutes from the festival grounds. So that's our main campground and all our, our parking lots are in Montebello or like walking distance. So uh basically everything is more kind of uh central in a way and we're still gonna have shuttles like you know for those who want to park or whatever in like the nearby small towns but uh yeah the, the point was really to uh, make everything more central on a typical year like when, when uh, do you usually see people start showing up you know uh, on the streets of montebello getting ready for rock fest how like how far like how many days in advance do you usually people showing up well I mean the, the setup begins like over a, a week ahead of time so I mean just with all the staff working on it it's it's already like a big change as for the festival goers I mean most people arrive on the Thursday because that's where the campgrounds open and the parking lots and everything but every year there's a couple people that show up earlier there was actually a guy last year uh, I'm forgetting where he was from, he was like from Arkansas or something and he, he just arrived like a week ahead of time and was just like, hey guys, can I help you out for, for the setup? So, you know, it's there's always some crazy people that, you know, want to be there first. So I think it's really cool. So did you actually put that guy to work or? <laughs> uh, I think he gave a hand uh, for some stuff, yeah. All right, well, that's cool. You could always use some extra help. Why not? Yeah. Okay, um, well, I wanted to know... Um, What's a day like for you for you at Rockfest? Cause I know everybody's out there having fun, they're having a blast. But I can imagine, uh, you know, you're also gonna like you're very busy. But there's any time during like that weekend where you get to, you know, you know, like kick back and have a little bit of fun. Or, well, I mean, or are you just it's, way too busy? it's always pretty crazy, and I don't have many hours to sleep. But you know, I I try to. Uh, you know, see some of the bands that I want to see, like even if it's just one song or half a song or something. But for, for the most part, I'm just running around everywhere and 
you know, there's like so many people and it's kind of weird because every year it's like everyone that I've ever met in my entire life is there at the same time. So it's just like, you know, sometimes I talk to people at Rockfest and they're, they're like, hey, it was nice seeing you at Rockfest. And I'm like, I saw you at Rockfest? <laughs> it's just, it's just craziness. Okay, well, I've seen um, also online too, you have uh, some some VIP tickets, I think, still available. Uh, explain to uh, what, what, what comes with those. Well, there's still a, a few VIP tickets left for the uh, front stage uh, package. And basically, it's a new section that's going to take up about uh, half of the front of the main stage. And it's just a reserved section, so you know you're guaranteed to be close to the stage. And uh, yeah, there's still some of those uh, available. All right. So, like, well, I know other than uh, watching the bands play and all that, there's uh, also a lot of like uh, fun stuff to do there at Rockfest. Last year, you had uh, the, the the little uh, skate park there. That was pretty cool to watch the skaters go at it. And then um, also, you had. Um, so a few uh, carnival rides. Anything, uh, anything new? You also, you plan to add this year, or? Well, I mean, there's lots of stuff that I want to add but for this year, since we have like so m so many big changes in terms of production and logistics. I kind of put that on the back burner a little bit, just so we can, you know, focus on, uh, you know, the basics in a sense. But that's definitely. Uh, uh, something that I want to uh, to uh, expand in future years. Uh, that, that is one, one thing I want to ask about also too is, um, okay, you're expecting uh, over 200,000 people this year and last year I seen from the rooftop uh, how crazy packed it was down there. Um, how, like, how do you plan to accommodate, I guess, well, you know, that many people in the park? Uh, are you going to be expanding the, 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 the festival grounds? or? Yeah, well, uh, like the, the whole side that we had the Mitch Lecter and Tony Sly stages, plus the, that's where we had the rides and the haunted house and you know a big part of that was the backstage too. Like that that whole section is like uh, has been landscaped, so it's now part of the main uh, area. Agreed. And uh, then we have uh, where, where we at, where we used to have the entrance last year. Um, and the, the box office and all that, and the, 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 the tiny, like the smaller stage. Uh, that whole uh, area has been landscaped as well, so it's like one huge, big rectangle. <laughs> and that's where we have the Tony, the Tony Sly and Mitch Locker stages this year. Uh, so yeah, it's way bigger, and uh, you know, there's more entrances, more exits, and everything. You know, every year the, 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 the site kind of changes, so we see what works and what doesn't work. So, you know, there's lots of small details that we change, like places that, you know, became bottlenecks that we, you know, we, we had some construction work done. Let's put it that way, like we invested lots of money on, on the actual uh, landscaping of uh, the festival grounds, basically. Uh, anything else you want to add um, before we, uh, you know, close up this little interview? Um, I hope to see you all at Rockfest on June 20 and 21. All right, thank you. All right, Alex Martel for Amnesia Rockfest. And uh, for more tickets and info, you got to act fast through amnesiarockfest.com. June 20th, 21st, in Montebello. For Metal Nation Radio, I'm Heavy Metal Mohawk. Ready to rock.